we had a chance to talk to Lieutenant Governor Flanagan and Governor Walls a few weeks ago and um, talked about the trauma-informed budget um, that is part of what we hope might show up in uh, some of these omnibus bills, the healing budgets, the, the you know, again, the MMIR office, um, the uh, uh, police reform, um, criminal justice reform, but it all gets stuck um, um, sometimes. And so I'm curious just to start things off there, um, uh, Senator Kunish, if you want to uh, address sort of if there's certain people that people should be contacting to make sure that things don't get stuck in a committee, um, uh, if it's just generally contacting representatives, and then I know it's not all just up to legislative bodies, um, but let's maybe start there and see what you can recommend that people can do next. Yes, the, the best thing that we can do or that you can do is to contact um, the members of our Public Safety and Judiciary com um, Committee. And I just put the link to, to that committee in the chat. Um, and the best thing that you can do is call you can email, you can send a letter or a postcard to them and um, just insist that, that they include this in their final uh, omnibus bill, the final one that they put together. Uh, last time in the Senate, we, I think they had one quick hearing and then they didn't put it into any other um, bill. So this year I've been trying to get it into um, the general order at the end of the at the end of the session where there's just a list of just like general bills um, and then they just pass them all as as once um, and um, th it's really just stuck up you know stuck there and it's really up to two people uh, Senator Limmer and Senator Gazelka they are the ones that are holding the gate and uh, you know they will say well, I know that Senator Limmer made a comment that, well, if I knew that, um, if I knew two years ago that you were going to come back and ask for more money to do, you know, I don't know that I would have approved it. So that was, that was actually pretty heartbreaking to hear him say something like that, uh, and that he has no intention of, uh, of you know, continuing to support it financially or in any way. And so um, that was, that was, that was really hard to hear. But, you know, with enough pressure and enough people contacting them, uh, that they should, they should get that done. And so that's really the only thing at this time, the best thing that you can do. I'm really hopeful that, uh, you know, our, our, at the federal level, our new uh, Secretary of the Interior, Deb Holland, is, is creating a national one, which was like a dream come true for me because I thought, oh man, we're gonna have to do this state by state. And I had had a couple of states contact me saying, can we use your bill? as a prototype and I was like, absolutely, please do because you know, if we get other states to do this, then uh, we kind of have our national uh, report right there. But one thing that we learned um, through the task force, there was a, one of our uh, committee meetings, we had somebody from uh, the woman from Canada who was in charge of their, the report up there. And she said the worst thing to do is just to take this report and, and put it on a shelf and not do anything about it. And so that's, that's my biggest concern. 